Hello friends, Porter Thorndike here with a demonstration of the new Reportcaster Scheduling and Distribution Interface in WebFocus release 9.3. So scheduling and distribution has always been real key use case for us, used by many of our customers to run, burst, and distribute, you know, potentially hundreds or thousands or even hundreds of thousands of reports via email to a report library, potentially if TP, maybe to a printer, really been a key capability for us and our customers. But for years, I think we saw the interface maybe became a little dated. So we wanted to make it really modern, really easy to use. Let me show you my favorite use case for scheduling and distribution. And that is bursting and distributing documents to the masses. Here would be one example. So as you may know, we can create content in a lot of different formats. PDF, yes, Excel, PowerPoint, yes, yes, yes. And also some other cool formats, um, which is an interactive document right here, HTML5 document that retains its interactivity even once run. So it can be packaged with data and interactive controls. Consider a statement, you know, for someone that had investments. We can see, you know, key measurement criteria right here. Uh, we can see the performance based on asset class, recent activity, retains its interactivity. I could do things like sort it. I could do brush linking. I could look at the data itself and I could do further analysis. A great format for a paperless statement. We also introduced infographics, which is a visual depiction maybe of your account data. So an account statement is a great example of something that everyone is familiar receiving and really millions of people are receiving statements like this or similar to this every day. Well, this is a great use case for web focus report cast for scheduling and distribution because what we can do with the web focus designer is design whatever report or document you're interested in, whether that be an infographic, whether that be analytics anywhere, interactive document, PDF, Excel, PowerPoint, whatever you want. And now we can use the power of web focus report caster to create things like access lists, distribution lists, and schedules. And it only requires that one document, the one distribution list, and you can burst and distribute that, you know, thousands or hundreds of thousands of slices securely to those recipients. So that's my favorite use case for it. Let's take a look at how we do it. From the Web Focus Hub, we've got a couple new options under Report Caster. I'm gonna start with a distribution list, okay? So that could be, you're gonna pick your distribution method, right? Cause you're gonna have different values based on your distribution method. I'm gonna pick email. Now you notice we could import a list. So imagine if you will, a web focus report that included an investor ID and their email address. Let's say it's a hundred thousand people. Okay, that'd be easy to create and save and import. As we look at this, we would just browse for the file. Now I'll just show you kind of a simple example here. And of course we can, you know, add emails custom. Okay. So you can specify what pattern it's looking for and the burst value. Okay. So let's say the investor ID, you know, for me is something like this, which was my global ID when I started at IBI in the year 2000, believe it or not. And my email now is porter.thorndike at cloud.com. I'll say, okay, simple example of kind of some of the interfaces that we've got to add custom emails or import lists. And now I'm going to save this and I'll just overwrite the one that I've already got. And now I'm going to close this. So the next thing that I'm going to do, you'll notice I've got a couple of those procedures in here already that I showed you. So the next thing that we want to do is really create that schedule. Now distribution list is what we just did. An access list might be used for something like the report library, or if you wanted to publish content back to the repository, I'm going to say create schedule. Okay. A number of different categories here. I'm going to start top and go to the bottom. The key thing here is the task and there can be multiple tasks. Okay. You could first distribute multiple documents or reports. So, we can specify a number of different categories. You know, is this a report? Is it a schedule? Is it a server procedure, a file? We can move files around. I am going to pick the web focus report option. We can give this task a name if you got a lot of tasks. And really the key here is which procedure are we selecting? So let's go with the E statement. And next thing I need to do is just specify that I'm someone that's authorized to execute this schedule, which I am as an administrator. 
Now here's the key. You want to do one-offs, you know, to a large distribution list, no problem. To me, the, the huge value of scheduling a distribution is to be able to burst and distribute to the masses efficiently. So I'm going to make it a burst report. And in that report, what I've got is I have coordinated this based on an investor ID. The investor ID gets associated with their email address. And that's what allows me to create something like a two-page statement right here that would actually be burst and distributed to 100,000 recipients potentially, okay? Um, the other thing that you can do that's cool, you know, with Whip Focus, when we design a document, it's a canvas that can be exported to any format. So you might actually, you know, this was designed as HTML5, well, this person might prefer PDF or Excel, okay? So you could override that in the procedure and you can give it a name, okay? And let's add this as a task. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go to the distribution method. Again, there could be multiple distribution methods. You may want a copy to go to email. And for regulatory or compliance, let's also send a copy to the report library or the repository. The report library is great at managing multiple versions of reports. So I am going to say, let's take this to email, which you can see those different options right here. <clears throat> Now again, I could send a one-off to an email address, but to me, the power here is that I'm using a distribution list. Okay, and I'm gonna select my distribution list. Remember that could be a report with something like 100,000 investor IDs and their associated email addresses. You can say who this is from. Let's say this is from a fictional financial company from a demo I created a long time ago, Pintoso Financial. You could CC people. There could be a reply address, like something like info at pintoso.com. And the subject, your monthly statement. Now, the other thing that's cool is, you know, if you've got an HTML report or an HTML5 report, you may actually prefer that that report content be embedded within the email itself, or it can simply be attached to the message. Okay, and then sometimes when you've got multiple reports or you want to compress the size of the report to save space, you could actually zip it. So let's say add. Now recurrence, how often this is gonna go? Is it just gonna go once? Or is it gonna go on specific dates or times? Most people will use every. And what we see as a common pattern, something like every week or every month or every quarter. Okay, you could specify a date well, what I like to is you can use what I would refer to as relative or soft dates, okay? The first Monday, and then you could specify a time. You know, you want it to come at 9 a.m., what's the time zone? Let's save this. Actually, I wanna click through a couple more settings before I save it. Properties, a priority. If I've got multiple schedules set at the same time, which one should run first, okay? And then what do we do if there's an error? And then we can check log reports as well. Okay, so I'm gonna save this schedule. I'm gonna overwrite the one that I've already got. Okay, oh, looks like I can't overwrite it, not a problem. I'm just gonna call this number two. Okay, and then I can run it and I can check the log report. Okay, so I think you can get a feel for kind of, you know, how much more modern this interface is and how easy it's going to be for you to leverage report caster scheduling and distribution capabilities to do things like create lists and create schedules and really, um, you know, crush all of those scheduling and distribution use cases where you wanna, you've got all this web focused content, reports and documents, you wanna be able to distribute it in a variety of ways. So this has been Porter Thorndike with a demonstration of the new report caster interface in web focus released 9.3.